You know, every morning on Wake Up Central, we share stories to keep you safe and sound. And we are almost two years into this pandemic, and misinformation continues to run rampant. From variants to vaccines and treatments, we just want to make sure your questions are answered. New this morning, Michael Aaron has everything you need to know about monoclonal antibodies because Wake Up Central helps you wake up smarter. As COVID hospitalizations rise in Arkansas, Dr. Chrishell Nash wants to make sure people are informed. We are learning as we go along. We have to have consistent, um, accurate messaging for people to make good decisions, not only for themselves and their family, but for the community at large. Nash is medical director for health equity and public programs at Arkansas Blue Cross Blue Shield. She stresses the importance of getting the COVID-19 vaccine to prevent infection, but also wants people to know about monoclonal antibodies. This is a, a tool in the toolbox to help us fight COVID-19, but it is not a replacement for vaccination. We still know that vaccination is the best line of defense, but we have to layer on those lines of defense. Monoclonal antibodies are for those at increased risk for hospitalizations and death from COVID. If you've tested positive for the virus or have been in close contact with someone else who has. Well, monoclonal antibodies are like a first responder. A vaccination teaches your body how to make the antibodies, right? Well, this monoclonal antibody is giving you the antibody right away. So you're able to fight it quicker, but monoclonal antibodies don't last as long as the vaccine. The antibodies are given through an IV infusion or by putting small needles under the skin. They do require a prescription and are often administered at outpatient hospitals, pharmacies, and doctor's offices. So we know that it's effective. And when I say it's effective, I mean that it decreases your risk of hospitalization and death by like 70%. Nash says the treatment is best when administered within 10 days of experiencing symptoms. Isn't that something? 70% mm. roughly wow. uh, monoclonal antibody treatment is provided free by the federal government. That said, you might have to pay an administration fee depending on your health care provider. So if you get hit with the bill, don't be surprised by that. The, the antibodies themselves uh, are free though, or your tax dollars pay okay. for that. Uh, things are constantly evolving. We talked about this morning how hospitalizations are up in the state. Mm -hmm. This is a t tool in the toolbox, to use her words, to keep those hospitalizations down, help some of those at-risk people hopefully not have to go into the hospital and in turn help our healthcare workers. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm curious how the uh, Pfizer COVID pill that they have coming out will uh, kind of stack up against these antibody treatments well, and, for the you know, Again, maybe it's just a situation where one works for one person, mm -hmm. something else works for another person, but uh, it is reassuring to know that we do have something available right now to help those people yeah. most at risk. Yeah. All right. Thank you for that information, Michael.